Hello, Timmy here and I need to have air a Renault traffic to look at and I have a new tool that we can use to have a look over the vehicle. It's from X Tool, it's called a D5S. So we're gonna test it out on this car, it's a brand new tool. Okay, we've got the box open. You can see we've got the unit here inside a little protective bag. Take that out. It's quite a small unit, I would say. Some cables in there, we've got a packing list which is a USB-C main cable, the tablet, and the quick guide, a few other bits. So we've got a quick guide here, of course it's pretty self-explanatory. Turn it on, connect your cable, connect it to the car, and away we go. So you can see this is a cabled unit. Now one benefit to having a cable on these is that usually they, once they're connected to the car it will charge the tool itself, whereas something like this if you have a Bluetooth dongle, they've both got their advantages. So for instance, this one obviously uses a Bluetooth dongle, so you've got to make sure that the tool is always charged because it will not charge as it's connected to the vehicle. Okay, so we're going to find our USB port like here and plug it in. So I can see that that is charging now, it's connected to the vehicle. So that's a handy thing about having one of these if you're mobile is you've always got a tool that's going to be charged up so you don't need to worry about it um, so we haven't used this before like I said so I'm not sure what the best option to do is we'll try auto scan auto identification so we are waiting seems to be a little bit slow responsive wise okay we're in we'll do automatic detection let's stay live and I'll see how quickly this does this So it took about 10 or 15 seconds initially to just connect to the car but from here on out it seems like it's scanning through pretty quickly. Um, is that it? Looks like we're done. We'll have a look at what fault codes we have. Particulate filter is clogged, diagnostic preheating diagnostic fault and engine dilution. We also have an external temperature sensor fault. Okay, we can see the different fault codes we have there. We can go to live data and we will look for, uh, let's just do all parameters. Taking a little bit of time to load up. And we're done, so we're going to see if we can find our DPF pressure. I can't see a way that we can just search for the specific thing I'm looking for, so we'll have to just scan through them and see if we can find it. These are all the different um, PIDs that you can look at here, sort of. So we've got differential pressure correction, that's not what we're looking for inlet all of these different items okay so we've got two items here um and we can just concentrate on these two so we've just highlighted these two two um items here we're going to start the vehicle up curve combination give it a rev you can see there's a delay on the upstream pressure that's still coming down so yeah we've got the option of using the live data on this tool to pinpoint what sort of faults we have that's one of the issues there of course you can see we've got functions test starting protection driving parameters cruise control speed limiter injectors nox trap particle filter history Let's see what special functions we can find We'll have a look at the ABS faults that we have here. Invalid multiplex signal. 
Let's come back from there. See where we can find our special functions. Special functions here. DPF EGR. We're going to go Renault. It's connected a bit quicker this time. I'm going to be looking for a traffic. That's the one. Special functions. So we've just got regeneration there for that. We don't want to do a regen. But you, you have got the option to do that. Obviously each different car would give you different options of what you can do, whatever it's compatible with. Maintenance, light resets, suspension. Uh, if we press diagnosis, let's see what happens. So we're just, just basically the same thing again, except the other one is doing it automatically. Uh, we'll go to more. You can register your name on the account, get diagnostic reports. This is the Renault that we've just looked at. So we'll have a copy of that in there. What we looked at. If it will load. And there we go. A little bit of a delay. It's not a 2005, so I don't know why it's coming up as that, but... That's just some of the fault codes that we had there. We can see up the top here we've got a removable panel where you can charge it and you can fit a, a memory card in there. Of course there's your on and off button. So it doesn't have a stand on the back this one. So you can see here that we can send an email report to the customer of what fault codes that we have. Okay, once that's been sent, we'll get a report for that to come to an email address. Uh, you can save like your workshop details in here, and that will be attached on the header of the report. So that will come as a report like this. You can download the PDF. As you can see there you've got a copy of all of the faults that are listed on the vehicle, and all of the live data there as well. Okay, so that is the X tool that I'm looking at here anyway. So we can see that it's it's capable of doing the diagnostic scan on the vehicle it's capable of reading the live data it's also capable of doing some of the special functions um, I think the special functions on these traffics are pretty limited on, on most scan tools anyway but we've only got the option for the, the regeneration there is what I could say on that um, once everything's reset on this we we should be able to just obviously reset the fault codes once we've got the repairs done and that should be the end of that but um that is the tool and i'll see you on one of the next videos